In this example, I'll be looking at the free body loads of a pin truss. Full details of this exercise are on page 456 of the PDF linked in the video description below. This problem is actually a continuation of uh, problem 8 in the same PDF, and I've already gone ahead and uh, done the problem, you can watch it on YouTube. I suggest that uh, you watch this video first, and then uh, once you're done with that, uh, watch this video. So let me go ahead and uh, open that uh, model I made already. So again, this is uh, at the end of this video, and I suggest you watch this first. Let me go ahead and open that truss. And we've been asked to view the free body diagram. So before you analyze this, you have to do one thing. Go to Analyze Entire Model, and you have to modify the subcase. So in this case, it's the default subcase. Drop it in here under Output Requests. Uh, let me delete all this actually. You have to select something called grip point force balance. So make sure it says GP force equals all fem here in output request. Hit OK at the bottom or hit apply here. And you'll be asked if you want to replace the whole subcase. You simply hit yes, hit cancel, and hit apply and replace the old files. Now I'll import my XDB results, and under results, hit the free body icon. Here I can show you the free body diagram. So under display attributes, I'll select uh, force component. Uh, I'll select resultant dimensions, uh, x y plane, and uh, that looks good to go. So I'll pick two elements at a time. So first, uh, let's see what they select. They show us the, the bottom bar and the top. So I'll do that. So the bottom, hold the shift key and select the, in my case it's elements one and five and hit apply. I get a tensile force of 363 pounds and a tensile force of 640 at the top. So 360 and uh, 640 com in compression. And uh, that's what I do get here. And note, if I were to add uh, another element and hit apply, it'll actually uh, sum up the components, and uh, we don't want that. So make sure to select the uh, two members that are not in contact. Next, they view the zero bar here and the member on the right. So let me go ahead and select this one and uh, this one. So elements three and six in my case. So this is zero, and this is in tension, 363 pounds. Let me clear it. Let me view this diagonal and this diagonal. Hit apply. So I get a tensile force of 900 here and a compressive force of 500. So 900 and uh, 500 in compression. Next, they view the free body forces moments for the entire truss. So to do that, go back to display attributes and select force and moment. Select resultant, x, y plane, and uh, I think this time we can clear this and just hit apply. And so we have, here. that's where we had our point load. At this pin, we have a pretty much outward force of uh, 1,000. That's what they get, and uh, they get a inward force of uh, what looks like 1,200, and that's exactly what we do get. And that's how you view the free body diagram for a truss. Go to File, Save, and that concludes this example.